Hello everyone. How are you doing, my dear students? I hope you all are keeping great. Many of ninth and tenth standard students want to prepare for NEET exam from their early classes. So today I am going to tell you how can you do, or I can say how can you prepare for your NEET exam from your class ninth and tenth. So it's very important as well to start your NEET preparation in the early classes so that you will be able to finish the syllabus, or I can say you will be able to get higher score when compared to the one who start their NEET preparation in eleventh, or some of them will also start in twelfth standard. So first, let's understand about NEET exam pattern. So basically, we have PC B as the subjects. So in biology, we will have botany and zoology. So each of the subjects would be having two sections: section A, section two, uh, section B. So section A would be having thirty-five questions. Section B would be having fifteen questions. However, in section B, you would be having choices. Okay. So same way for botany and zoology as well, you would be having section A, section B. so total questions that you will be uh, you know i can say total questions from section a would be 35 for all the subjects including botany zoology separately as well as if you consider section b 15 questions so this is how the uh, you know the total marks that you will be able to secure in each of the section and if you uh, give a right answer you would be getting full four marks for a particular question and if in case if you write something wrong definitely you would be having minus 1 as negative mark now as i just told you before some time section b would be having 15 questions however you would be having options so you just have to write i mean answer 10 questions in p c and zoology botany right so this is how you will be able to score 180 marks in physics 180 marks in chemistry 180 plus 180 that is 360 in biology so by this we understand that half the neat questions would be from biology and half the score that you will be able to secure is from biology so let's now understand how a ninth or 10th grader can prepare for their neat exam from their early classes first of all my dear students you have to be thorough i can say you should be very good or well versed in your class 9th and 10th science science syllabus which will be definitely having physics chemistry and biology so make sure that you complete your class 9th uh, and 10th standard ncert textbook first to you know before starting your neat preparation before you open the 11th and 12th ncert first you complete your 9th and 10th ncert science now i'll tell you why so if i consider class 10th biology so we have the first chapter life processes so by completing this chapter or by understanding this chapter very well you will better understand the whole unit of human physiology which will be having four chapters digestion and absorption breathing and exchange of gases body fluids and circulation excreted products and el elimination so this would be the base for your 11th standard very important unit human physiology which will be uh, you know high uh, i can say lot of questions from a neat, a neat exam will be coming from this chapter and going for the next chapter of class 10 standard control and coordination there is another uh, you know uh, important two more important chapters which comes in human physiology that is neural control and coordination which is more about nervous system and chemical coordination and integration which is more about hormones and so on so both of them you will be studying in control and coordination so that's why you have to make your base proper this is a connecting chapter so this chapter matches with these two chapters of class 11 standard biology and the third chapter how do organisms reproduce so in 12th standard biology the first unit reproduction which will be having set of important um, chapters like i can say four so this is one unit and all these chapters comes under this unit reproduction 
so all of these chapters are covered like i can say not exactly the way it has been covered in this chapter so so introduction or sort of outline is been given in the class 10th chapter how do organisms reproduce and if you see the heredity and evolution chapter of chapter, chapter of class 10 standard so this would be really important it's very important to understand certain confusing chapters of class 12 standard with the unit genetics and evolution and the chapters are principles of inheritance and variation where you will be studying about uh, mendel and uh, you know such more laws and molecular basis of inheritance where you will be studying about dna and evolution the similar evolution you will be studying over here as well i can say same but here it would be more in detail okay now coming to environment so many of you would be thinking oh our environment this is very easy chapter of class 10 standard so let let me ignore it but no my dear students ecology the unit ecology of class 12 standard have two chapters organisms and population ecosystem so which has lot of things to do with the chapter environment and now coming to the last again most underrated and uh, you know very easy chapter this has connection with the biodiversity and conservation of um, class 12th ecology okay now <clears throat> is it only 10th standard important for class 11th and 12th or is it only 10th standard which is important for your neat exam no also your 9th standard syllabus is very important i can say science basically so if we consider biology class 9th biology fundamental unit of life is all about our 11th standard biology cell structure and function the unit cell structure and function has three chapters again super important chapters cell cycle cell division biomolecule cell the unit of life this is more or less it is like the same okay so to understand these chapters you should know fundamental unit of life and the chapter tissues of class 9 biology have lot more to do with plant tissues animal tissues right which we will be covering in the class 11 biology anatomy of flowering plant structural organization in plants here literally we will be studying about animal tissues and morphology of flowering plants which is again important tissues uh if you would have studied you would be better understanding this chapter of class 11 standard and diversity in living organisms oh my god super important you know why the whole chapter is being splitted in class 11 biology into the living world this is not the unit living world biological classification plant kingdom animal kingdom here we are lit we will be literally studying about in this 11th 9th uh, standard chapter we will be literally studying about classification animal kingdom plant kingdom and so on okay so that's why class 9th and 10th syllabus especially science is very important for your need preparation coming to why do we fall ill chapter of class 9th standard again there is a unit called as biology in human welfare human health and disease is very much same i can say with why do we fall ill and microbes uh, microbes in human welfare would be having few concept which is which actually you will be able to better understand if you would have studied why do we fall ill chapter so there are some more like natural resources underrated so called easy chapter have connection with environmental issues chapter of class 12th and improvement in food resources which seems like social uh you know social science sst but strategies for enhancement for food production is very much uh you know similar to this and it's sort of important to understand this one to understand this like animal has been re and so on will be coming under this chapter so this is what i wanted to talk about regarding why a ninth or 10th grader should be studying their syllabus perfectly first if you are the one who want to prepare for neat exam so now you got the proof which are the chapters which need to be studied very well if you want to understand the chapters of 11th and 12th standard so now let's see um what are the few uh, habits that you need to have from your class 9th and 10th 
if you want to prepare for NEET exam quite early. So, studying every day. So, start a habit of studying every day because once you get into 11th and 12th, that is once you start your NEET preparation properly from 11th and 12th, you have to study every day. But that habit you should be starting from your 9th and 10th. So, then you will be used to studying every day. Okay? So, start studying every day. You can solve problems or you can practice diagrams. You can, you just have to study every day for at least half an hour. If you are in ninth, then you usually ignore this thing. But if you start such habit, it is going to be helpful for your need preparation, especially for 11th and 12th. Give up mugging, my dear students. If you are the one, especially in uh, physics, chemistry, if you are the one who is mugging up, but if you want to crack NEET exam, also if you want to crack JE exam, you just have to stop mugging up. Understand and study. So whatever you are learning, make sure you understand it first. Learn it. But don't mug it. Okay, don't by heart anything. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm not very sure regarding NTSC exam now. Um, I am not following about this exam that much. But however, Olympiads will be happening frequently. So, if you are the neat JE aspirants, you have to be competitive. You should know to solve MCQs in a short duration of time. So, this is why you have to give these competitive exams like NTSC, Olympiads, IOQJS, NSO and maximum competitive exams as possible because it's going to help you to, uh, you know, upskill yourself. So make sure because the reason being a lot of students who are neat J toppers are also NTSC toppers or they would have cracked some national, international Olympiads. Okay. And uh, practice more and more MCQs from foundation material. So once you are done with complete 9th and 10th standard science books, that is NCRT, you can get a study material, uh, foundation study material. So I'll be suggesting some books as well. So practice some questions, okay? So which are these best or I can say good foundation books, definitely. Uh, Pearson publication, class 9th and class 10, both of them are available, which will have extra topics, which is, uh, which will be coming in your 11th and 12th standard exam. Similarly, many uh, would be knowing about Lakmi Singh and Manjit Kaur books for class 9th and 10th, which is going to be helpful for your 10th boards. Also, it will have so many questions that will help you in upskilling, that will help you in preparing for NEET exam. Okay? And once you are done with all these foundation books, after you finish your syllabus of class 9th and 10th, after you finish these foundation books, then if you want to still study something more, you can simply buy these books, that is uh, MTG uh, fingertips. So this is going to be uh, helpful because you know you will this, this will be have this will be having the PYQ so this is going to be helpful for the 11th and 12th standard as well so this is all I wanted to say now coming to the uh, timetable so I'm not saying that you you open your 11 12th textbook from your 9th and 10th no but whatever you are doing right now studying 9th 10th make sure you study every day and whenever you have time set your priority for studying something extra. Extra means not like astronomical science, no. Study something related to 11th, 12th. Okay. And make sure that you have a proper sleep. Now only don't start reading some, uh, you know, true man's publication, study material, you know, theory, no. Which is of 11th, 12th, no, no. That's not needed. And don't leave your sleep because however in your 11th and 12th, you have to give up your sleep a bit. So make sure you sleep properly. And uh, if you sleep properly, you won't sleep during your study time. So this is how it is interconnected. And 
try making a good realistic timetable which is going to be helpful for your 9th 10th final exams as well so this is all for today i wanted to tell you so let's meet in the coming video until then bye